So let's say uh, you want to build an application just like we did before that uh, calculates the sales price of an item. So the user gives you the price of the item, you calculate the new price of the item after, say, 30% off. But instead of using the scanner, as we did last time, you want a window popping up, like uh, modern GUI applications, because that's what people like. So to do windows in Java, we're going to use the Swing library. The way we do that is the following. You're going to go click on your package. It's a new class. So we're going to write a new program called Sales Calculator. And here, the super class, we're going to change that. It's going to be javax.swing. Uh, J option pane right there. Just hit enter. Uh, and I'm going to want a main class. So finish. So here is, you see, we created a new file, salescalculator.java. Uh, this already has the import, Java swing J option pane, and extends J option pane. We'll get into details as to what all that means later on. For now, you need it. Uh, we're going to get rid of that comment. And here, we're going to add our code. So we're just going to say string. Um, string input equals j option pane dot show input dialog enter price oh, enter the price of the item okay so this is a one line program we're going to save that and run it and show you what happens so when you run this program it uh you know, this it appeared we're here now you can see it uh, so this window pops up. It says enter the price of the item, just like I, I wrote here. And then I can type in something and hit OK. And the program ends right there. You see now it ended. So that's what this does. The J option pane does show input dialog. So this method takes a string and well shows that input dialog. We call that those little pop-up boxes. We call we call them dialogs because they ask the user for something. And when the user types in that something and hits OK, that something gets returned and placed in the input variable right here. OK. So similarly, I can then do um, j option pane dot show message dialog. Uh, we're going to say null and message. You type in input. Right. So I'm going to then show a message. And the message is you typed in input, where input is whatever the user typed in. I'm going to run this. So enter the price of the item, I can type the word hello, OK. And the message is you typed in hello, and I can hit OK. So that's how this works. You can probably see how we're going to get this to work now to calculate the price. Uh, so input is the price. Now the only problem is input is a string, and I want uh, a new price to be a double, right? Because I need to take that input, which is a string, and convert it into a double or uh, an integer. So I can do double dot uh, parse double input. And this is how I convert the input into a double. Right? There is this class called double with a capital D. And it has method called parse double. So what this is going to do, I can highlight there, and it'll tell you what it does. Returns a new double initialized to the value 
represented by the specified string. So whatever the string represents, if that is a double, the string represents a, a double number, like you know, five, uh, then it's going to turn into a double. If the input is a word, there's going to be a trouble. So let's assume for now that it's going to be a double. And let's keep plugging along. So the new message is going to be the price after 30% off is, and the new price is new price, not input. So I got to change that. And uh, new price is new price times 0.7, right? Because that's a uh, point, you know, so that's the same as 30% off. Okay, and let's try running that, see what happens. So the window pops up, enter the new price. Let's say the new price is 10, the price of the item. And the new message is the price after 30% off is 7. So that's correct. That works. Uh, now let's try it again. Let's see what happens if I put in, say, something that's not a number. Hit OK, and you see the program crashes. Uh, we'll show later how to catch it. Basically, it's raising an exception, saying, you know, the number format exception. And the input string ddfd is not a number, so you got a problem there. So, but basically, this is how you create windows with the J option pane. Uh, you can type in J option pane dot and uh, the show, and you see you see all the various methods. And as we go through class, we'll learn more about some of these other methods and to create more windows.